equation of right bisector given the triangle ABC with vertices A, B and C as minus 2, 0, 8, 8 and 4, minus 2 determine the equation of right bisector of BC okay so for these kinds of questions first we should sketch we may make a rough sketch okay don't worry about the coordinates just draw your triangle you know just any standard triangle right and write down your points in order order means I'm not saying like this is negative 2 so this should be the leftmost no I'm just saying you can start letting A B and C I prefer to do A B C in the clockwise order now the coordinates of point A are minus 2 0 coordinates of B are 8 8 and the coordinates of point C are 4 minus 2 correct now when you say right bisector so what is the meaning of right bisector right means the line should be perpendicular and bisector means it should bisect the line into two equal halves correct so it says determine the equation of right bisector of BC so BC is the line which has to be right bisected that means first we need to find the center of this line so that you know if you find the center of the line then you know this side will be equal to this side so any line going through the center will bisect BC so that's the second half bisector right means it has to be at right angles do you see that so right angles means perpendicular to this do you understand so that is how the line is going to be perpendicular means this angle is 90 degrees okay now it seems as if this will go through a but no it may or may not so don't worry about point a in this case right we are only concerned with the line bc its midpoint and the slope so these are the three things which we need to consider when we do right bisector of a line segment okay so let's see the steps which need to be done so first and foremost always the first step for me is to make a rough sketch okay so the first step is rough sketch important thing here is to label correct so that you get an idea what you're trying to do and try to figure out what you want to do right so we say well let's call this midpoint as M so that is how we are going to label so we say midpoint of BC is M right I also use a nomenclature we say M of BC that means midpoint of BC it's kind of important because at times you may be finding right bisector of all the sides correct in that case this nomenclature helps so first step is rough sketch label it try to understand the situation next step is do what is required so first step we should do is we need to find the right bisector of BC that means first we should find the midpoint so calculate midpoint okay so we are calling this midpoint as midpoint M of segment BC right midpoint is how do you calculate midpoint the formula for midpoint is add x values divide by 2 add y, y values divide by 2 so midpoint formula is x1 plus x2 divide by 2 and y1 plus y2 divide by 2 correct so that's how we get midpoint in our case what is the midpoint so if I add 8 and 4 I get 12 right and 12 divided by 2 is 6 so we get 6 as the x coordinate and if I add 8 and minus 2 I get 6 6 divided by 2 is 3 so I get 3 here so my midpoint is 6 3 so I got 6 3 here correct yeah I'm leaving these calculations for you to do so you can always do and get that answer okay now next step is find the slope of line BC so find slope of given line BC right in this case it is BC right so slope of the line will be you'll use the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 correct let's call this slope as equal to m okay 
So as we gen generally write m is the slope. So y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 is the slope. So what is y2 for us is 8. So 8 minus minus 2. So let me write. 8 minus minus 2 will be 10. So the slope is 10 divided by x is 8 minus 4. 8 minus 4 will be 4. 4 divided by 2. Okay. So <laughs> let me do it again. So y2 minus y1 is 8 minus minus 2 which is 10. And x2 minus x1 is 8 minus 4 which is 4. And when you divide 10 by 4 you get 5 over 2. So that is the slope of this line. 5 over 2. Got it? It doesn't look like it looks like negative slope, but you know, don't get confused about it because it's just a rough sketch. Okay, so you get the slope of the line. The next step is so when you have slope of line BC, the so slope of perpendicular should be uh, perpendicular. I'm writing like this slope of perpendicular is negative reciprocal. So we write m perpendicular equals to minus 1 over m, negative reciprocal. In this case, it is going to be minus 2 over 5, correct? Minus 2 over 5. Is that okay? So that is going to be our slope of the line. So therefore, now we know the line, the slope and the midpoint. Now when you know midpoint and the slope, you can always write the equation of your right bisector. So now write down in, in the form required. So here we'll use slope intercept form which is y equals to mx plus b. We'll use this formula to write equation of right bisector. Is it okay? So what is y for us? The point is 6, 3. So the y is 3 for us. So we get 3 equals to slope is minus 2 over 5 minus 2 over 5x plus b but we don't know what b is so I should have written x value here as 6 correct so then we will calculate so we don't know what b is so what we will do is we'll try to find b now so for b what are we going to do we'll plug in the value of x which is 3 equals to minus 2 over 5 x value is 6 times 6 plus b and we'll calculate b from here we say b equals to when we take this on the other side we get 3 minus becomes plus 6 times 2 is 12 12 over 5 now to add that up 5 times 3 is 15 so we get 15 plus 12 over 5 which is 27 over 5 correct and therefore we get our equation as y equals to m is minus 2 over 5x plus 27 over 5. So that's the equation of our right bisector. I hope you understand all the steps. I've missed some steps out here on purpose so you don't miss it. You plug the value of y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1, calculate, right? So you'd have to show all the steps and then write down your answer. I hope you understand the method of finding the right bisectors. For you, the exercise is find right bisector of other two sides also. That means AB and AC. And one interesting thing about it is that when you find all the right bisectors, I would like you to find the point where all these right bisectors intersect. Do you understand? All these right bisectors will actually meet at one point. And do you know what that point is called? Where all the right bisectors is meeting? Figure it out. And second question you need to answer is how does that center point helps us? Or what is the importance of the right bisectors, the point where the right bisectors meet? So you need to answer two questions. First, what is the name of the point where all the right bisectors of a triangle meet? Second, 
what is its importance or application okay do that thank you